Hello, this is V Buzzing with V. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a feature featuring Scrap Diva Designs dies. This is the die that I'm using. It's called the File Folder Mini Album and it comes with 25 pieces. I just love this die. Let's go ahead and get into uh, Scrap Diva Designs information. This is her information. Um, head on over to her Instagram and YouTube as well as her TikTok. It's also Scrap Diva 29. She also has a hashtag here where other creators are creating using her dyes. You can get so much inspiration from her website as well as that hashtag. So head on over. So let's go ahead and get on into it. This is what I created and I just love it. I love how it feels. I used this glue here, it's the Barely Arts glue, to put all of this together. Um, I did use some hot glue here and there. I wanna go ahead and do a flip through first and then we will dig into all of the pieces. So let's go ahead and do that now. So here's the front cover. There's so much going on. So I will definitely sh share with you what's happening. So right here on the side, I do have a, um, at elastic piece here, which I did glue on a bit tight. So uh, if you were to use this, you can do something looser, but all I did was use this elastic lace here from Dollar Tree. You can find this at Michael's or Hobby Lobby as well, possibly Joanne's too. I haven't been there in a while, so I'm not sure. Um, however, so here's the front. This is what is, this is the closure here. I'm gonna flip this over and this is the back here and again we will f go through everything soon enough and uh, let's go ahead and open so it opens like this it's a trifold so um, on the left side it opens and then uh, followed by the right side it will open like a trifold and so the right hand side is a bit shorter than the left hand side to make it close properly and so that's it there and then this top flap flaps up and this is what it looks like okay so let me go ahead and close this up so we can talk about what is happening here so this <laughs> I just love it I'm not gonna close it up but uh, let's go ahead and get on into it so here on the left side my tassel are some felt flowers that I made using a die for my stash. I will have that linked below. Here is the memories die that comes with the die set. I uh, paired it here as a tassel, so I just love how it turned out. All I did was use some clear acetate along with some black paper. You can use vinyl as well for that if you would like to. So let's look into the front here. As you can see here, I added some embroidery floss. So. I just love how it turns out and how it looks on ephemera pieces. So definitely we'll be using this again. So I did add some rolled flowers here and there and uh, a sequence there. I did some embroidery knots here and I just did like a, a greenery on this hummingbird. This is an SVG file from the Silhouette Design Store. I will have that linked below as well. So this is an ephemera piece and I did do some stitching there. And then right here, this ephemera piece of this yellow flower. I did also do some yellow um, embroidery right there and then added a rolled flower in the middle. So I also made this paper clip. Um, if you've been following me, you know that I love to make paper clips as well as clothespins, uh, decorative clothespins and paper clips. I just love it. So the closure here is this piece here. I would have, uh, if I've done this um, differently, I would have did some stitching around this. So I did add this um, brad here. And it's just a simple brad where you could pick up at, I believe I picked that up at Staples a while ago. So um, again, this, this paper clip I made, I just love the embroidery, just so pretty. So let's flip this over. And right here, I have this wood veneer from Target from way back when. And I added this button here and with this huge paper clip here. 
So the pockets come with the die set as well. So it's very simple. Just added that. Well, that came off. <laughs> Okay, so right here I have a sticker piece that came with the Flourish collection. These do pull out. They are journal pieces, and I did add some staples. Those are gold staples to a circle punch, which I folded in half. And I just love it because you could just journal on the back and just put it right back in here. Okay, next one is also a journal piece made the same. So it's a clear it's it's blank on the back okay let's go ahead and open this up right here on the left side I'm gonna flip it um, you could add something underneath as a tuck I have a tuck spot here um, this does come off so we'll take that off uh, this lemon is just paper clipped on so it is a die for my stash I will have that linked below so these pieces do pull out and I did this uh, file folder tab with the that came in the die set. So here it is right here. I did use some of Willow Lane's paper. So that is by Maggie Holmes and I did some stitching right here on the, this piece here. Um, they just have words and also did some stitching here on this journal piece added a tab there. So the back is plain for journaling, for pictures and whatnot. Anything goes here. So it could even be used as a recipe book. It would be cute like that. So um, all this does is it slides in like so. And then I just love this lemon again. I wanted to do embroidery stitching on this as well, but since it is uh, fairly flat, I decided to keep it as is so um let me put that back here okay okay let's get on into this part right here here is a clip and it's also holding the back piece so let me just take this out here so i just want you to see this clip is so cute i did also do some embroidery on it it's such a cute piece um, I would have if I had done a different I would have had did some stitching around it as well with the floss But I just love it if you can see right there. It's very subtle So there's the back. I just love doing my own paper clips. So um, Here is a journal piece which I did do some stitching on and you could just flip over here um, right in this section I do have a piece so this piece here where you could stick stuff in like so the corner piece that comes with the die set so i have that there and i also have this here's the hummingbird again i just clipped it onto this ticket piece and it also has a tuck spot right there and again that comes with the die set okay right here i also have a circle punch and i folded it in half stapled it right there I have a paper clip here that's just it's just there for any um, other journal or picture memorabilia I could put there here is a sticker and it's a puffy sticker feels almost like faux leather and then another sticker here so I did some stapling there on the corners as well over here and so that is it for that page. Let's go ahead and flip it open on the right hand side here. As you can see, we have another tuck spot here. I just did, I just added this ephemera piece here just for decorative purposes, added some stitching. So that paper clip does hold that there. Here I have a tuck spot and I, I did add this file folder tab to this journal piece. It says from the heart and the back is plain. So I did some stitching on it as well and added a sticker so that is a tuck spot for anything so anything can go in there and I just love it here's a sticker that says blooming I'm um, bloom and grow which I thought went with good with the flourish here is another tab here nothing goes in there so it's just part of this page so there is the back of that paper clip I did an embroidery thread on that one because it was just too small. I could have done it probably with some sewing thread, but um, time is of the essence. So again, no time. 
Okay, so right here in the middle, I have a, a, an ephemera piece here held by a paper clip. I did some stitching on this chipboard piece and also added a flower in the back. Here is a paper clip. So it does flip open like that. And on the other side, I kept it plain for, you know, pictures or other pieces, journaling pieces. So I'm going to remove this paper clip so we could go in. It's just a paper clip that I picked up from, I believe, Dollar Store a while ago. So all I have here is a tag. It's a plain tag where you can add journaling or add some pictures as well as a ticket and a, an ephemera piece here. So I just love how that turned out. And I just paired it together like so and then added this paper clip to keep everything held together. So, okay. So now right here at the bottom, I have an ephemera piece. This is a butterfly, so two of them here. And that just sticks on there. So this piece here is this right there so you can use they flip open i will show you right now and it just slides it's held by a brad this brad i picked up for michael's just a button brad and so it's holding this ephemera pieces here i did add a doily you can also use scrap diva designs doilies for this um if i had to do this over again i would add more space to the folds here so um, that way it could all hold a paper doily so I had to keep everything very um, flat so this is definitely good for flat mail and so so this doily was picked up for Michaels it is the Martha Stewart brand I'm not sure if they carry it anymore I added some stickers with some stitching on the side of that doily so in the middle I also added stickers so you could do some journaling so it does flip open here more journaling could happen here and some pictures here or more journal journal pieces so that just flips um, it just flips over to keep the doily closed and also keep the ephemera pieces in place like that so that is it you guys I hope you enjoyed this I enjoyed making it oh, this is my first file folder and I love how it turned out, so definitely we'll be making a lot more. I want to show you other possibilities. So if I had to do it again, I would have did the spine wider like this. And so you can do so much with it. So you can open it this way. Um, you should check out the hashtags other creators are creating with it so you could do it like so and then this would flip like this and then this would flip so it was just so much that you can do with it and so much flips and folds that you can add to it so that's what I did and hopefully you enjoyed that like I did um, all of the flosses that I used is a value pack that I picked up from Michaels and so these are all it let's go through it real quick so um that is the brand there for Michaels and this is all eight millimeters so um so the pink is 732 the yellow is 702 the hot pink is 740 the dark green is 716 the seven the lighter green is 710 the black is 774 and the brighter green is 712 the brighter yellow is 702 that's all the um embroidery thread that i used on this as well as the front pieces here so I hope you enjoyed it because I really did and if you can see the hummingbird has a knot with a sequence piece thank you Angela for the idea that is so cute I was just gonna add a knot there and she suggested a sequence so you can't really see but it's a black sequence with embroidery thread just love it you guys I will see you guys in the next video